Hey everybody, how's everybody in uh, YouTube land? Today in my uh, miniature review I'll be talking about uh, Gorgon Studios and their line of miniatures. Um, Warlord and Black Tree Design. All great companies. First, I just got done with this Warlord, um, Celtic Warlord Chariot. Get it close enough. Very fun. It was a nice little project. Get lined up right. Uh, it wasn't hard. It looked difficult at the beginning. It came in a blister pack, you know. I'm thinking, oh, great, this is going to be fun. But it was really easy to put together. You know, like anything else, you got to cut the little, you know, extra pieces off the flock, you know, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, I uh, drilled some holes in the hand to run the stirrups through. And, you know, all in all, it's a nice little piece. Warlord, one of my favorites. You know, it came through pretty good. I like the flocking on the the base. I thought it was a good uh, good run. I was going to add some um, standard bears behind but I just haven't got around to it yet. Don't know if I'm going to do it. Uh, paint design on the driver there. I thought it was cool. But that's a nice piece. I like it. A lot of, a lot of room for detail. You know, a lot of room to make it look cool. Next up, Gorgon Studios. A little site I found. Um, you know, they don't have much in the line of ancients, but what they do have is excellent. A lot of good miniatures. Here is uh, Etruscan uh, Centurion. close very cool you know and these guys deliver fast I put the order in before I, you know like two days later it was there well I think it was more like three or four days but still you know this guy got here quick and this is um, another Etruscan from Gorgon I liked him. He's cool. Haven't got around to flock in the base yet. I'll put some pictures up when I get that flocked. And here's more Etruscans. Hop, hop, long. Hop, hop, light. Blah, 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 blah. Got that, everybody? These look a lot like Greeks, but they're not Greeks. They're Etruscan hoplites. You know, they're still that time of uh, warfare they're still using the hoplon the dory you know corinthian style helmet lamellar with some um that's a lamellar and scale mixed armor really fun like i said gorgon gorgon studios great great company they did a uh, really good job. Here's the other ones. You get four in a package for, uh, I don't remember how much they were, four for like uh, eight bucks or something like that. Really good deal because they, you know, they get there real quick. And I like their shields. They got, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but. They got a little spot for the hand to sit in, and you know they you got to provide your own uh, dory, of course. But uh, it's given. Pretty much every site does that. There's the other two. You get four in a package, and they look great. I'm gonna order some more as soon as I can. These are uh, little big man studio. Uh, 
boop 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 dance in here. Uh, big little big man studio shield designs. Another good company does uh, a lot of banners and shield designs for just about anything you need really. That's where I get all my Romans, Etruscans, uh, Greeks, you know, everything they got pretty much. Alright, here's my half done uh, Oskins. Oskins, I don't know how to pronounce that, but these are from Black Tree Design. Another um, good company. I haven't had problems with them yet. Um, other than back ordering, but what company doesn't back order? You know, they had to back order these, which it's cool because they turn out to be good. They're going with my uh, Italian early Italian wars. Um, I'll probably mix these with my Etruscans or Sam Knights. I got some Sam Knights coming. I'll show you those. Uh, I think they look pretty good. Of course, I don't have my shields on them yet. They're not quite done. Those come four to a pack. Here's the other one. He's not done yet. They come four to a pack, and they're pretty. They're pretty. Uh, pretty good. I've ordered some Romans from them before. I'll show you them when I get my uh, Roman army situated. It was pretty good. Last miniatures I'm going to show you guys today. My box audations. My box audations. I'm building my Dacian army to fight my Romans. And I ordered the Warlord uh, Dacian host, whatever it's called. And, you know, Warlord, they're one of my favorites. They got a lot of good products, a lot of good products. And this is another good product. Um, basically, they are the same sprue as the Celts, the Celtic sprues. They just have different um, heads, some different heads, the same ones on the sprue. But they give you different metal heads. They get you the phallix, the phallix, scythe sword of some sort, um, different shields. Um, these are the shield uh, transfers they give you. I'll get up close. They look pretty good. A little, a little difficult to get off the transfer sheet, but you know you gotta deal with that anytime you do it. And uh, here's uh, some more. Pretty good. I like them. I'll bust them up here. There's a phallus. It's a nice long um, bent sword. It goes right through um, the Roman uh, scutum shields. You know, uh, the Romans at this time, when they were fighting the Dacians, uh, Trajan. He made the soldiers uh, double thick their armor. So the Romans at this period of time had to uh, double up their armor because of them swords. Probably, you know, other reasons too, but that sword was so brutal it could go right through the shield and into the person. Here's uh, the metal guy with the kit. There's, uh, what, four metal guys? He got half um, upper torsos that were all metal for a bunch of them and they got these uh, Dacian helmets that are pretty cool he's got scale armor and a short sword and the oval shield here's the horn player that's a uh, Canax, Canax, um, it's a Celtic uh, Basically a Celtic style. Very, very cool. And I don't know if that's a druid or some kind of priest for the Dacians. He came in a set, a little blister set 
with Dacian Commander here, which I thought he looks cool. Let me see if I can get a good. Which I haven't flocked the base yet on these guys. I'm a little lazy when it comes to flocking the bases. But, you know, he's got uh, a scale armor too, as well. And, um, you know, the one thing I didn't like, which is just minor, but on these guys here, which is the Warlord, they got the upper upper torso which is metal and the legs are plastic so they're really tippy you almost gotta make a bigger base and weigh the base down so these guys aren't tipping over but minor it's all good yeah see they're weighted toward towards the sword you got the plastic bottom and the metal top just tippy Okay, and here's, I added into the army because a lot of times they fought together. This is a uh, Sarmatian from uh, Black Tree Design. Sarmatians, uh, we're pretty close to Dacia. Sarmatia was right next to, well, not necessarily, I, I'm not sure, i got to look at my geography here, but they're real close, so they fought against the Romans all the time. And I didn't bring my cavalry with me, but cavalry's mostly uh, Sarmatian. And here's the rest of my uh, Dacians. They are um, Old Glory. Old Glory is the company for these ones, which they look uh, pretty good. They're all basic. It's not a very uh, expensive army, you know what I mean? They didn't have a whole lot of money, and they took whatever they could from the Romans. Here's uh, more. Phallics. And... Uh, you got your... Uh, host commander two of those and, th and then you got two uh, dragon bears they got the dracos and the oval like shields with more little big man studios and uh, oh glory's horns are a little bit different I like these ones better because they're short they're not you know, insanely long, as you can see, it's um, a little more uh, easy to maneuver. Dacian Army. I like them, they're good, it's a good army. Fun to put together, fun to paint. And a lot of companies make them, make the different ones, so it's good to go. Okay. Moving along. To terrain. Now, a lot of people have spent a lot of money on top, you know, top grade, high quality terrain pieces, which is cool if you got $50, $60 to spend on a little house. But if you got one of these, a box with, if you order a lot online, you get a lot of this styrofoam. You know, irregular piece of male styrofoam. Low density, it's not high density, but both are good. You can use whatever you got to make terrain pieces. And here's a house I built out of um, extra pieces. You know, it's got basil wood roof comes off the roof is a uh, fruit snack box you know it's got a thatched roof uh, fits together the walls are um, 
um, foam court and uh, the base is um, you know a heavy board heavy cardboard um, you know basso wood foam court and that's it you know it's got some nice flocking I put some nice um, Bushes looks pretty good. And some tufts of grass. I love them tufts of grass. They look awesome. You know, of course I didn't paint the inside or I haven't got around to all that yet. Put a bed inside or nothing, nothing like that. I haven't got around to that yet, but got the outside done, which I think is pretty good for you know, it only took like what five bucks to make this. You know, and you go to one of the sites online, you're gonna be paying 30, 35 bucks for a house like this. You know, and you can make anything out of anything. You know, a Roman tent right here. You know, little uh, dowels. And uh, some plastic. You got extra shield, extra pylon, more shields. Um, the tent itself is made from eyeglasses cleaner. You know, one of them pack little packets. You got the cloth about this big. Dry it, and it forms perfectly right into a tent. You know, it comes out perfect, beautiful, quick idea, fun, easy to make, you know, simple things, no big deal, it's cool. Other stuff I got going here, here's uh, uh, some kind of Celtic tower or some sort, you know, watchtower. I got the idea online somewhere, nice little ladder it's wide you know it's wide and tall enough to fit a chariot through you know what I was gonna do was build uh, a ring fort of sorts here's a wall I made you know it's gonna go here I got another piece that goes here and around. It's gonna be like a ring fort. Of course, this one's kind of short, but what I was gonna do was make some palisades on top and make it going around. And they get, you know, it's really easy. It's cardboard, styrofoam, and glue. You know, cut it, cut it your shape. What do you want? Glue it, fuck it. It's easy, man. I mean, you can make something out of nothing. As long as you got imagination, some bobs of wood, you're good to go. Made some standing stones out of some simple styrofoam. Uh, of course, I didn't finish this, but I wanted to show you, you know, basically what you can do with what you got sitting there. You know, it's easy to make something out of nothing really simple you know what I did with this was took a razor blade and you know cut the pieces try to make it look like stone when I paint it and flock it this should look pretty good you know of course it's not supposed to be Stonehenge it's just you know a random standing stone uh, kind of thing. I was going to put uh, a little broken down altar right there, maybe some broken pieces around it. Simple, you know, something out of nothing. You don't have to spend big bucks to, you know, get some good terrain pieces. Well, I've been talking for a good 20 minutes here. Um, that's it for today. I hope you uh, got some good ideas and you know, make something of your own, you know, feel free to email me if you need any questions or you want to talk crap or 
<laughs> Sends some hate mail. Uh, it's all good. But I hope you got some good ideas and, you know, some inspiration. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, hope you subscribe and check out some other videos. Thanks.